Hello everybody, what's going on? I am Gamerchick and I would like to welcome you guys to Story of Seasons, which I like to call Harvest Moon Story of Seasons, and OMG, I have been waiting for this game for months. For months, absolutely for months. I can't even begin to explain to you guys how excited I am for this game. I, I thought it was supposed to come out last month, and I'm pretty sure originally it was, but it got pushed back another month, which is fun because it's here now. Oh, oh my god. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I just cracked the box open. Choose your difficulty level? What? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go with original. This is the original difficulty for veteran farmers. Since when does Harvest Moon have a difficulty? I don't know. But we're going with original because I have played so many Harvest Moon games before this. So let's go ahead and click it. Select your gender. Well, obviously we're going to go with the girl, but the boy is kind of cute. You're so adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and click the girl. And I am so excited because we actually get to customize the stuff on our character, which is pretty cool. So we can go with Peach, Snow, Olive, and Coffee. I'm gonna go with Snow. I don't know, actually Peach is, Peach is okay. I Personally, I'm a Snow. I'm pretty, I'm pretty white. <laughs> we can turn her around, which is pretty cool. You know, this was something that Harvest Moon 3D horribly lacked. It did not have a character customization. You were just stuck with the default character. I like that a lot. Um, so this is actually, this is wonderful. I like being able to mess with our character, even if it's just a little bit. Okay, I really liked this one, so we're gonna go with those eyes. The hair color, let's go with red. Definitely red. And the eye color, let's go with blue. Is that an, is that an option? Apple green. Ooh, that's pretty. Emerald green, that's pretty. Sky blue, cobalt. Ooh. I don't know, I like the cobalt. Amethyst? Purple eyes? Ooh, baby blue. I want amethyst eyes. Yep. Amethyst eyes. Okay, we are ready to go, so let's go ahead and hit next. Select my birthday. Well, my birthday is actually in summertime. How do I change that? There we go. Summertime. And it's on the 26th. Yes. Enter my name. My name is not Annie. Although it looks like I don't have enough room to input all of the letters in my name. So I guess let's go with my actual name, which is L not nine. Lori. We'll just go with Lori. Lori is my name. Yes, that, that is correct. Let's go with that. Would you like to start the game with these settings? Yes, I very much would like to start the games with these settings. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this game forever. My first farm. One chilly winter day as you leafed, leafed through your mail. Okay, a simple pamphlet caught your eye. New farmers wanted. Join us and help Oak Tree Town grow as you work the land. Wouldn't it be interesting to become a farmer? To leave city life behind and live off the land in harmony with nature? With visions of green pastures and friendly animals in your head, you filled out and submitted the application. One week ago, the reply came. You'd been accepted. Now, a new life awaits you in the countryside. Yay, in the countryside! Ooh. Hello. The graphics are actually pretty, pretty good. Oh wow, please come in. Ah, you must be the applicant for the vacant farmer position. Er, Lori, was it? Yes, that is my name. Welcome to Oak Tree Town. We're so glad you decided to come. I am Veronica, the Guildmaster. It's a pleasure to meet you. The Guildmaster? What? You're a Guildmaster in a Harvest Moon game? Okay. Wouldn't you be like mayor or something? I'm not gonna argue. If you're Guildmaster, that's what you are. The Guild office manages the day-to-day -day operations of Oak Tree Town. We handle a multitude of duties here, such as running town events and posting job openings. 
It's also our job to welcome you as our town's newest farmer. We received many applications, but of course we had only one opening. We kept coming back to your application. Because we could feel the honesty and passion you possess, eventually we decided you would be the best fit. I know you've come a long way to start your new life as a farmer, but I'm afraid we've still got some work to do setting up your farm. So until the farm is ready for you to move into, I'm going to have you stay with another farmer for training. Don't worry, she's the nicest, gentlest old lady you could ever meet. Any questions? No? Well then, allow me to walk you to her farm. Okay, let's go! I'm excited! I wanna go farm! Like, actually really farm? In a real farming game? The farm where you'll be staying is four blocks up the mountain. It's a bit out of the way, but it's really a very pleasant place. Shall we be going? Yes, let's go. It's a pretty building, I see. Pretty stairs. I love it already, this game. The graphics are really good. Isn't this a lovely town? It may be a little small, but I think that adds to its charm. That we enjoy the level of prosperity uh, prosperity we do is thanks to everyone's hard work and good attitude. Okay. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. We actually have a town we can explore. As Guildmaster, I'm very proud of our town and everyone who calls it home. I hope that someday you'll come to love it as much as I do. Yes, I love it already. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say so. Well then, let's make our way up into the mountains. Plenty of people live in town, but set foot outside it and you'll find yourself surrounded by lush forests and rivers. The richness of the natural world around us is one of the best things about living here. Would you mind if we made a small detour? Ooh, it's a river! Isn't this a beautiful river? This clear water and rich soil nourish the crops our farmers grow. Farming aside, isn't it relaxing to sit and listen to the quiet rush of the water? Well then, let's continue on to the farm. This way, Lori. I'm coming. I got distracted by the water. I wanted to keep looking at it. Are you alright? I think so. These hills getting steep in places. The climb can tire you out if you're not used to it. Why don't we take a moment to get our breath? Ugh, I want to go to the farm though. Can we just go to the- what am I doing? Am I talking? <laughs> huh, the air tastes sweet? Yes, I can see how it would seem that way for those who have spent their lives in the city. Nature's beauty in this town's greatest treasure, and I aim to keep it that way. Gotcha. Shall we continue on? We still have a little ways to go. We have arrived! All right, here's where you'll learn all about what it takes to be a farmer. This is a cute little farm. Chickens! I love chickens! My, my, why hello there, Miss Veronica. Oh boy, I don't know if I can talk in that voice forever. It's an old lady voice, and I'm not very good at making voices. And who is this you brought with you? Yeah, I'm not much of a voice actor. This is the new farmer that we talked about last week. Ho oh, ho, and such a spiry looking youth. Thank you. Lori, allow me to introduce you. This is Madam Ida. Edda? We'll go with Madam Ida. She has run this farm for many years, and you'll benefit greatly from her guidance and experience. The milk from her farm has swept up blue ribbons from a hundred county fairs. My, my, flattery will get you everywhere. Lori, was it? It's a pleasure to meet you. Such a cute little old lady. No, 
Now then, Madam Ida will instruct you in the finer points of raising crops, tending to animals, and all the other chores that come with being a farmer. This is just until your own farm is ready. That should be in about a week. Until then, Madam Ida has graciously offered to let you stay as a guest in her house. I'd be glad to have you. Thank you! Now, I'm afraid I have other work to attend to. May I leave the rest in your hands, madam? Of course. Madam Ida has been a farmer for decades, so be sure to take advantage of all her knowledge. Should you need any other help or assistance with getting settled, you're welcome to come by the guild any time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Off she goes, and she's gonna leave me here with this lady. Hello, lady. Well then, what kind of host would I be to leave you standing out there in the cold? Would you like to come in? I want to be a farmer. Oh, come in, come in. I want to plant crops. Can we please plant crops? Oh, she has a cute little house. Hmm, this is my home. And even though it's just for a few days, think of it as your home too. Question mark? Huh? I look happy? Why, of course. Ever since my grandson moved back to the city, I've been living in this old house all by myself. With you here, it's almost like he's home for a visit. I'm glad to have the company. That's sweet. He must be exhausted from the trip here. Let's wait until tomorrow to start working. Why don't I show you to your room? This way, dear. But I want to start working today! Oh, tear, tear. This will be your room. Now, let me explain what you can do with all the furniture you see. First is your toolbox. You can store tools like hoes and sickles in here. Stand next to it and press the A button to use it. You can leave things in your bag, of course, but it won't be using, or er, if you won't be using them soon or just need to free up space, stow them in here. Next is your storage box. You can keep items, insects, and other collectibles in here. You use it the same way as the toolbox, by standing next to it and pressing the A button. That brings us to the bookshelf. Here you can look up info on all the things you learn how to do on the farm. As with the toolbox and storage box, stand next to it and press the A button to use it. People in this town are fond of giving educational books, so always be sure to read up to refresh what you've learned. Good gravy, look at the time. You must be tired and here I am, plum talking your ear off. Go ahead and sleep in this bed here. I still have a few chores to finish, so don't wait up for me. Oh, one last thing. What do you think about keeping a journal for the rest of your life here? Oh, well that doesn't, that's not what it says, but it's close enough. <laughs> Writing in your journal <laughs> helps you remember what you've been doing. I do it before bed, but you can just jot down your progress anytime. And before I go, here's a small allowance from me. Use it to get whatever you might need. Good night. She's giving me money? Okay, let's go ahead and write our journal here. We're writing our journal. Journal entry complete. Yay. Okay, is it nap time now? Apparently we need a nap. I don't want to go to bed. Can we leave? Today was exhausting. I can't wait to crash. What a joke. There's the old lady's room. I actually get a bedroom. That's kind of cool. This is the bed. The day will end once I go to sleep. The time I choose to sleep to determines when I'll wake up. If I want to get up early, I need to go to bed early. Shall I sleep in the bed? Sure! Say hello to Gorigo? Gorid... Gorigio? I have no idea what that says. I can't pronounce that word! I can't read! Good evening, Madam Ida. My, my! Hello there, Gorig... Gor... Giori... G... Gor... How about Geo? We're gonna call you Geo from now on. Back home from your trip already? Ah, indeed. I just got back, so I thought I'd stop by to say hello. And this is... This is Lori, the new farmer who just moved into town. We'll soon be covering all the basics of farming. Ah, I see. I'm Geo. I run a small farm north of town. You see me in all the magazines, I'm sure. Nope. Oh, he's not happy about that. What? You haven't? Alas, perhaps my fame is still a bud. He had to fully burst forth upon the world. Well then, I suppose I'll just have to sweat that much more to make it bloom. Okay. 
Oh dear, I've taken leave of my manners again, losing myself in my ponderings. My name isn't unknown in farming circles. I've even appeared in a magazine or two, no doubt to show the glamour of the farming lifestyle. Oh, it's not as big as it sounds. You're going to work on your farm as well, right? If you ever have any trouble, you come straight to me, okay? I'll help you as only I can from my deep storehouses of benefits. <laughs> Alright, my neighbor is a fellow named Fritz. I live to the east of him. Now then, I must be going. Good night. I'm calling you Geo. Okay. Are we actually gonna get to farm? Training! Day two. Come, dear. Up and at him. It's morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm tired. Goodness, you look tired. So nervous, you hardly slept a wink, huh? Oh, you poor dear. I suppose that explains the bags under your eyes. Well, it's times like these that a little breakfast can go a long way. What do you say we have some? Sure. Do you see the heart icons in the upper left corner of the screen? Those represent your stamina. When you do work, those will go down. Be careful now. If you run out of stamina entirely, you'll collapse. The face icon to your left represents your health. If you don't feel well, you'll lose stamina more quickly. Not to fear, though. You can replenish both your stamina and your health by eating. To a degree, anyways. If you ever want a refresher on this, check your bookshelf and read the books on stamina and health recovery. Well then, what say we enjoy our breakfast before it goes cold? This way, dear. Sure! Ooh, that looks yummy. Oh, ho, ho. I blew the dust off an old stew recipe of mine just for the occasion. It's been years since I put this much effort into a dish. I hope you like it. Go on and dig in before it gets cold. Hopefully she's good at cooking. Hopefully. Yay, my stamina has increased. Or I guess recovered. How was it, dear? Did you like it? Sure. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Alright, I think it's time we get to the meat of your training. First, let's go outside. Follow me. Ah, recovering stamina was added to the shelf. About your health was added. Okay, let's go. I'm ready to start training for reals. For realsies. Okay. Let's practice gathering materials and other things you might find lying on the ground. In the mountains, you might find rocks or sticks or even nuts and berries just sitting there on the ground. If you find any, feel free to pick them up. For practice, why don't you collect some items lying around on my farm? When you spot an item, stand close to it and press the A button to pick it up and put it in your bag. To take it back out, press either the X button or touch the bag icon on the screen to open your bag. Anyway, get out there and pick up five pebbles and five twigs and bring them back to me. I suppose I could do that. Trainee. Oh boy. Here's a pebble. I found a pebble. Here's a twig. That's not really a twig, but more it's more like a log, but whatever. There's another twig. This is pretty easy. Oh, I'm picking up pebbles and twigs. I lost count. I think that was three. I don't even know. I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of them and see what happens. Anything over here? Oh, there's another pebble. Uh, here's another twig. Another twig. I think I found quite a few twigs. There's another pebble. There we go! I got them all! Well done, dear! Here, you've put in a good effort. Refresh yourself with this drink. Yay, I get a glass of juice. I got some orange juice! I trust you understand how to pick up items now. You'll find all kinds of things lying about, so pick up whatever catches your fancy. I'll send you a book that explains it that you can put on your bookshelf. Give it a read if, you, uh, if you'd ever like to jog your memory. Picking up items! Yay! Using your bag! Yay! You can sell the items you pick up at the Trade Depot if you'd like. I'll teach you more about that tomorrow. Oh, okay. But I think that's enough for today. You must be all tuckered out from running around the farm. Why don't you take the rest of the day off and explore the town? 
Hey, Granny, I'm here to help! Oh boy. Your grandson appears. He looks just like me. Why? Oh, no, he doesn't. He has the same color hair. Huh. Who's this, Granny? This is Lori, the new farmer who arrived yesterday. Right now, we're going over some of the finer points of farm chores. Is that so? Hiya, I'm Fritz. A farmer like yourself. Good to meet ya. That's Fritz. That's, a, that's the guy that other guy was talking about. Anyway, have you got anything I can help out with, Granny? Lori is helping me out, so I think I'm set for today, but thank you for dropping by. Okay, gotcha. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask of both of you. Sure, anything you want, Granny. Wonderful. Since both of you are close in age, I'd really like to see the two of you become friends. Sure. Huh, is that it? No problemo. Your name's Lori, right? Well, as of today, we're best buds. I know we'll get along great. Oh, hey, want to come along to the river with me? Sure. It's getting kind of hot out, so a dip in the river will feel great. Come on, the river's not far from here. I'm gonna go on ahead. Don't keep me waiting, alright? What a joke. Okay. Ho ho ho, such an energetic scamp, that Fritz. He's a sweet boy at heart, so I hope you two get along. I can hold down the fort here, so why don't you go on and play with Fritz for a while? Sure. But remember, morning's gonna come earlier than you expect, so don't stay out too late. I'm supposed to be training. Why am I going to swim in the river? Ugh. Jeez, what kept you? Come on, let's jump in. But I don't have a bathing suit. Whoa, 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 you've never gone swimming in a river before? Alright then, I'll teach you how. Do exactly what I say, got it? When you see a dock like this, you can walk out onto it and press the B button to jump in. Once you're in the water, you can use the circle pad to swim around. Press the A button to dive underwater. If there's anything down in the riverbed, you'll pick it up. When you're done swimming and want to get out, just head back to the dock and press the B button. Give it a try. Okay, sure. I jump in with B, and I'm swimming around. I can't actually swim around, but I'm diving. That's pretty cool, I suppose. I found a rock! I got a stone. Yay. Aw, oh, just a plain old stone. I guess it all comes down to luck. Sometimes, though, you can dredge up some really awesome stuff. Oh, just to remind you, diving underwater takes stamina, so be careful not to overdo it. Okay, well, we can swim in the river, which is, I guess, pretty cool. Well, that's all that there is to swimming lessons. Doesn't it feel liberating knowing how to swim? If you ever want a refresher on how to swim, look at your bookshelf. Thank you for the book on swimming. Okay, enough education. It's fun time now. Let's dive on in. Sure. You and Fritz played together for hours in the river. The cool water felt great on such a warm day. Reminder, swimming in real rivers can be dangerous, but the game's rivers are all safe, so jump in and have fun. All right. Ah, man, that was fun. One more thing, though. Don't ever throw trash in the river. Everyone will get mad at you if you do. Anyway, let's do this again sometime. How about this? Why don't you stop by my farm sometime? It's down at the base of the mountain. You can stop by whenever. See ya! Okay. Ah, did you have fun playing in the river, dear? Yes, I did, Granny. That's wonderful. You must be all tuckered out. Why don't you call it a night? Now here's today's allowance, and don't forget to write in your journal before you go to bed. Good night. I got 500 gold for doing nothing. Thank you. I like 500 gold for doing nothing. Alright guys, unfortunately I believe that is all the time we're going to have for this episode. If you guys would like to support me and if you guys would like to see more of Harvest Moon Story of Seasons, be sure to show your support by leaving a like in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. In the next episode, we are going to continue our training. So, until then, I will see you guys very, very soon with more of Harvest Moon Story of Seasons. Bye!